stern seasons and mountain solitudes, crystal lakes, full streams, covered bridges, summit sunsets, golden leaves. What better place for a home of education? Down in the lower Champlain Valley is Middlebury College on a hill overlooking a typical Vermont village. Its nearness to Lake Champlain made this territory the scene of many early American military struggles. In its setting of open countryside stretching to foothills and Edmonds, Middlebury College reaches out far beyond for the most progressive in scholastic process and cultural ideal. A new fall semester is underway at Middlebury The student newspaper is going to press. The big news is football out at Porter Field. Students at Middlebury are given every opportunity to build up the body, train the mind, kindle the imagination, discipline the emotions, strengthen the will. Middlebury College introduces the young man and woman to the classroom, the library, and the playing field. The scope and balance of the liberal arts program is brought to them by competent teachers. It introduces them to promising young men and women of their own age and bids the individual student to make the most of himself. It confidently expects that their training will develop in them a sturdy individualism of spirit. Middlebury has modern laboratory facilities and equipment and a well-trained faculty which devotes its skill to the training of ambitious youth. For years, science courses have been an important part of the college curriculum. Graduates of Middlebury have achieved success in various scientific careers.
Keeping up with studies requires a lot of concentration. Sometimes, concentration has to be doubled. Snow comes early to Middlebury, and it really stays around a while. Star Hall, built in 1861, Old Chapel, built in 1836, and Painter Hall, built in 1815, comprise Old Stone Row. Painter is the oldest college building in Vermont. Star Library has over 100,000 volumes. McCullough Gymnasium is a fine physical education center for women. Soon a heavy blanket of white covers the ground, and out come the skis. For the out of doors is Middlebury's chief playground. With the mountain terrain so close at hand, the long Vermont winters have helped to make Middlebury one of the most ski-minded of American colleges. It's up in the foothill of famous Breadloaf Mountain that these student skiers are headed, up to their own snow bowl, the nation's top collegiate ski layout. It is located in the center of the college's 13,000-acre mountain campus, 12 miles from the academic campus below. The bowl includes advanced and intermediate tow trails, a mile and a tenth downhill run, a 25-gauge slalom hill, and a 50-meter jump, highest of all the nation's collegiate jumps. From early December until late March, students may be found spending their after-class hours on the trails. WMCRS, student-operated radio station, 
is on the air. Right now, it is broadcasting the Winter Carnival at Middlebury, the highlight of the year. Fine competitive skiing is combined with the tops in social events. A rugged eight-mile cross-country race brings out the Spartans of the ski teams. Perhaps not as exciting as downhill skiing, but cross-country racing is a great conditioner. Racers leave the starting line at one-minute intervals. This hill and dale stuff really calls for endurance, and a little energy must be saved for that final spurt to the finish line. The downhill racers roar through the winding wooded trail lined with onlookers while officials accurately clock each skier. Carnival spectators gather to see the finest of college skiers jump on the 50-meter hill. Jumping just isn't for every skier. For most, it's a spectator sport. Skill, nerve, and some luck are combined as these jumpers leap against the sky and soar through space to the narrow hill below. Carnival skiers are back on the campus, cold and tired. Now to relax. But what's this? Corsages, formals, and never too tired for the big carnival ball in the glistening auditorium where a name band is playing. Here is the social high point of the college winter. Dim lights, soft music, make your feet forget the heavy ski boots you wore. The perfect finish for a perfect weekend. Spring in the Champlain Valley brings out blossoms, butterflies, and bicycles. Baseball played on the Porterfield Diamond next to Middlebury's World War II Memorial Field House and Gymnasium. This is one of the newest campus buildings as Middlebury College moves ahead under the leadership of Dr. Samuel S. Stratton, 11th President. Tomorrow, as yesterday and 150 years ago, Middlebury will strive to impart to its students an enduring zest for intellectual tasks, a firm desire to be intelligent and honest in the evaluation of themselves, of other people, and of philosophies of life, a realization of the dignity of the individual and the importance of jealously guarding their liberty and freedom. 
Middlebury College, set high on a hill looking both ways to the mountains, is dedicated to the task of preserving a cultural heritage based on such unchanging values. <laughs>